<laughs> Why are you turning your back? <laughs> Why are you turning your back on him? <laughs> What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. Not live. From our home in London. It actually worked. And we are having a great day so far, aren't we, Mummy? Oh, we're having a great day. Loads of homeschooling stuff going on. All sorts of Loads craziness. of fun. There's mess on the floor. Good bit of mess. Yeah. Let us know in the comments as well. Where are you guys coming live, but not live from? Are you at home? Are you out? Tell us what you're doing as well. What country are you coming live but not yeah, live Yeah, town, from? specific. Yeah, are you coming from up in the skies in a castle? Maybe, yeah. Comment hashtag live but not live. Are you on another planet? Castle, planet, in the sky. I, I don't know. I can't let you speak anymore, Jojo. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are off out on a fun adventure to see some fun friends. Yeah, so we were we have tickets to see the lovely Family Fizz show, which is in a couple of days. Yeah, they were kind enough to invite us to theirs a like a day earlier. So um, we'd spend some time hang with them out, kids hang together. Before the show, Jojo gets to see his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, he's down there. I didn't even know where he was. So you're excited to see Sienna. What? Yeah. What? What are you gonna do with Sienna? Uh. <laughs> that seems like mischief. Love. Yes, exactly. He just remembered. Oh yeah, the stuff I do with Sienna. Yeah. You're gonna, you're we, gonna, don't, we don't see them normally. They go off and they just start doing their own thing. And when you come near and they go go away. You're gonna play some games. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna take Harry Potter Uno. Yeah. To her. Oh, teach her how to play it. She'll try and have a whole game, all seven of us. Oh. Not, in, not including Karma. I didn't forget her. Which <laughs> is not fair. She can join one of their teams. So, Mum, you have something very special in a bag there that you've been holding, very eager to share with us, haven't you? I do. When Family Fizz went travelling, they were upset because they had to rehome their beloved pets. Pets. Yeah. But luckily they rehomed them with us, didn't they? Yes. So you remember that we got this Scaredy one. Cat. How are you doing, Scaredy Cat? I feel like a summer's day in February. And we also got, yeah, Raven Raven. How have you been doing, Raven Raven? Oh, pretty much the same then. I look really weird with your colours in the background. It's like you were raving in the background with them. Yeah, so we thought we'd do a little challenge today with these guys. What is it with you and challenge? I don't know, I like challenges. So what we're going to do is we are going to try and sneak these guys back into their house without them knowing. They might come back with us at the end, it depends. It depends if they want to stay or not. They probably But will. we need to somehow sneak these in and put them somewhere. Oh, they're not going to be on their own though, are they? Oh yes, there is a third. You're running out of hands to hold fake on? animal object thing. Give me that. I'll hold the last one. Alright, you hold the last one. So this is, of course you know, this is the Poonicorn. The Poonicorn. Named by the free gang themselves. Because he does a unicorn poop. I'm still not comfortable with that. No, I'm not comfortable with it either. We're going to try and sneak this one in as well. So This one might stand out a bit more. But the thing is, they might just think this is like one of Sienna's toys. They may not recognise it. That's why we're going to have to put them in very interesting places. Yeah, we are. So, yeah, that's what we decided to do today. I know it sounds weird, but this is us. This is the oh. sort of things we do. What about put Scary Cat and him in um Him? That's Raven Raven. Oh, How so, dare you? Sorry, Raven Raven. Um put Scary Cat and Raven Raven in Sienna's room and then put um the Funicorn in um like the living room or something or in the kitchen. Well what we might have to do, we might have to scope the place out first to find out what are the best areas to put in. Anyway, without further ado, let the challenge begin! So we're here now in Brighton. We've just parked up and Mummy's doing something very curious with her socks. And you're bouncing around excited because who are you seeing very soon? Sally Calm down. What are you doing? Well, Scaredy Cat's feet were poking out of the bag. I can't let them see. I put him upside down and I put my pink socks on the, from there. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect disguise. Yeah, they'll never know. Jojo, do you want to tell everyone what else you bought? A whole bag of squishies for him and Sienna to play with. I feel like a full on family fears and family freedom squishy fight. Oh yeah, good yeah. idea. That's a bit too eager. So we've got to somehow sneak these in without being seen. We've just got to drop them out of the way and not make a fuss really. We'll do it, we'll do it. I believe in us. The challenge continues. Okay guys, we are in Brighton. There's Family Fizz. Say hello, Family Fizz. Hi. Ah. We've all just come to a park. Jojo and Sienna are uh, around somewhere running around. And Katie has got a special guest. You might have noticed there's one less family fizz there. Who have you got? <laughs> you have a child strapped to your chest. <laughs> I can't talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Katie has to keep some motion 
and fun guys. She's having some time with Karma, aren't you? Can you talk in motion? I'll bounce with you. Yeah, it's making the free gang to, sick. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to go to sleep, so there's a certain way they get her to sleep. So free gang, be quiet. This is me putting the finger to your lips. Oh, what? where are the kids? The kids are around somewhere, I don't know. I shall find them. What are we doing, kids? Is this another marmalade shop? No, it's a superhero shop. It's a superhero we're shop. And we're saving the world, we're superheroes. Right, okay. I always get these things confused, marmalade shops and superheroes, it's all the same to me. And Jojo, you seem to be um, taking this warrior superhero seriously. You got some like nice warrior marks there. Yeah. You're squishing it. What am I squishing? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I didn't know that was down there. Oh, no. You brought one of the squishies. And Sienna, you've got to the age where you've grown a few more ears, I see. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Should I just leave you two alone? I'm not allowed, am I? Yeah. Yeah, you're not allowed. You're not allowed. Every time they're always insistent. No, you can't be here. You can't be here. Go away. These two have declared a battle. Get back here. <laughs> Stupid cat is. Ah, you want some? And she's gone down. I'm going to get you. <laughs> get back here. At least it warms me up because it is pretty cold now. It was just a time of day to get the kids out because once they saw each other, they got really excited. They were just jumping around, but it's just good to come out and have a walk as well. I think we're going to head back in a minute and have some food. So guys, we managed to get Scaredy Cat, Raven Raven, and the Poonicorn into the house in the back without those guys noticing. So the next part of the plan is, can we get them out, put them on the, in the house in places which they will notice, but they don't notice us doing it. So we can do it undetected. So there's been a bit of an update. You seem to be missing a baby. Yes. It's oh returned to Mama Bear. Yeah. It's a good little practice run though, isn't it? Yeah, having a it, was, it was literally a run as well. You were just jogging around the park for about 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but I've told you some tips, like how her head has to be. Yeah. Haven't I? And oh, that's handy. Oh. Yeah. She's... Vloggers in the park, thanks a lot. Has yeah, she gone to sleep like, now? She's growling. Now. Yeah, she's not properly asleep. She's like on edge, but she's like that all the time. Like she always wants to know if somebody's there when she's sleeping, so she goes. Yeah. Like her eyes open and close, you know. She's just checking you haven't swapped for Katie. <laughs> no, she's been really relaxed with you guys. It was nice having her on me though, she was like keeping me warm. I'm cold now. Oh, sorry. No, Do you want to think... carry me? So we're heading back now. It's very cold, so we can't wait to get back in the warm, have some food. Yeah. And then also get the challenge underway. Yeah, they don't know anything about it. They have no it. idea and they can't hear us right now. So well, I think we have to pick one by one and try and put them in. We've got to put them in places which are like communal spaces. The yeah. difficulty is going to be though, we, when we're with these guys, we all just sit around and chat and catch up and talk about all sorts of things. So for one of us to just go, I'm going to get something and then try and sneak around and put something somewhere, I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll see. So we're back now guys and we just uh, quickly come into our room. Oh, quite... let, let's show, show you guys the room. They, they set up this beautiful room for us, look. Oh, look at how look. nice it is. And we've got gifts on the bed as well. There's a note from Sienna to Jojo. Yeah, this is why I love these guys so much. They think about everything. They put some breakfast things up here. Where's the bowls? And some love hearts in there. How cute is that? And Budja Budja chocolate, my favorite oh, yeah. chocolate. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, they just had these things on the bed for us. Yeah, and Jojo's got a note from Sienna saying to Jojo. And he's got, look, Jojo and Sienna, and there's a cow there going. Oh, maybe you shouldn't be reading that, it might be private. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't tell her thing. Right, so shall we now <gasps> oh, yeah. try and get one object down? Because it's got be, to be in that living room in the kitchen area, right? Where we won't be seen. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do them both together. We're going to have to put them in different places. Should we just take the bag down? Should we just take the bag down? I'll walk around with the bag and I'll put them in different places. And um, we're going to have to try and do some code or something. We're going to have to be very discreet with filming this, otherwise they'll know something's up. You film. <laughs> And you're going to play. I'm just going to I've, like... I've spotted a few places. There's a mop and bucket. Maybe the poonicorn could sit in the mop and bucket. If we can get all three in a place without being spotted, then that's the achievement. You ready? Okay. <laughs> I feel like, can I video and you do it? I feel oh, like you just bottled it. No, I'm not, but I'm too... Oh, okay, okay, okay. To do it. Okay, if you can sneakily film, you've got to be able to like, just hold the camera and not seem like it's on, okay? From a distance, maybe. So that's the idea. If you're filming them, you've got to try and distract them and look, make them look the other way from wherever I am and what I'm doing. We didn't think this through. Let's Not just... at all. Let's just improvise. Yeah. Okay. Right, we got desperate and we've reeled in the kids. Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, is this something? Wait, I can see something. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. We didn't feel like we could do it without, like, on our own. We need some distractions, I think. So we've got the kids involved. All right. 
So what the mission is today is we have to sneak these guys back into back the house. Into your house. But it's got to be somewhere like living room and kitchen where they will see, but they can't spot us putting them yeah. there. So you guys might be down to distracting. Oh, yeah, you two could be like very much like, look over here now. What I'll do is I'll beg my dad to like play games with me and Jojo, and then I'll like get mum and mum's busy with yeah, karma. I'll... You will try and get me mum to give you some lipstick, and then <laughs> me and Jojo. Of course. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, and this is a new one. Okay. Hey, look! Hey, look at this. It's called Poonicorn because look, he does a poo. Oh. <laughs> he does a unicorn poo. Oh my god! Hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so cute. I know. How cute! So we've got three characters that we have now, to. The important thing is, if we're going to get downstairs now, can we like get downstairs and not looking one hundred percent suspicious? Oh, okay, okay, team. Jojo, your wand's here as well. Jojo bought his oh. wand to show Where's Sienna, that? didn't you? It's a Harry Potter wand. Wow. Nice. Okay, are we ready to do this then? Sword. Keep that hidden. Sword. Let's go. Okay, so we're underway and Katie's going straight in with the Poonicorn. Trying to get it on the mantelpiece and she succeeded. Yes, it's a great start for Katie there. Walking away like nothing's happened. Great start. Now she's going in with the Raving Raven. Having to be very, very careful. Acting like nothing's happening. Just walking sideways across the front room. But Darren is approaching. This could get difficult. He may have called her, has he? <laughs> Why are you turning your back? <laughs> Why are you turning your back on him? <laughs> <laughs> and that was close. Yes, the Raven Raven has been put in place. And Darren seems oblivious as he bounces with the baby. Now, two out of three down. A nice tea break for Katie, it would seem she's earned it. She's got two out of three after all. Oh, but it does seem that perhaps this is a diversionary tactic as... Yes, that's right, I've just seen the scaredy cat has been placed. And all three are in place. This means a success for the team. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> why is this... What? He said, why is everyone acting so weird? No, why are you acting so weird? I don't know. Nothing. I don't know if everyone. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, have you seen everyone who's here? I've seen these three, yeah. Yeah. That you obviously recognise two of them, right? I recognise two of them. I think so you get the look. You've never met him. Whoa, 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 the second move. Our mission. Don't go too close, Karma. He can set off at any time. So our mission. Um, oh. Our mission was to do that. Oh no. Our, our, this was an episode. At least we got to see him on his last day. Yeah. yeah. Our challenge of the day was to try and sneak these guys Thanks. into your house and put them somewhere without you seeing us. <laughs> I did it for you. Did succeed. They were there for a good five minutes. Acting. Very shifty, so we <laughs> definitely knew something was going on. All of the like having your back and you know, what was that? that was a bit odd. Because if I was suddenly like this and just kept doing that to you, <laughs> <laughs> you brought some old friends around. And a new one. one. Yeah, that is the Poonicorn. Right, Demonstrate right. what the Poonicorn does. You have to put it down, that's right. He does a unicorn poo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Do you like that bit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't commit too much now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? She's like, I like it, but I've got to quickly weigh up if it's cool if I say I like yeah. it. Yeah. I'm on, a, I'm on a YouTube channel, what will people think of me? Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun, wasn't it? Did we actually... Yeah. I think that was a success. They were on the shelves for a good five minutes, weren't they? A good five minutes. And I think Georgie actually looked straight over at them. What? They're on... They're in complete sight, so I don't know how they could have... Like, they must have looked in the room. They're quite nicely camouflaged. I mean, the Funicorn was like large as life. So the guys, they've gone to bed now. They've got uh, a lot going on tomorrow as they're preparing for their live show. So yeah, they make sure they get a good night's sleep. Yeah. And we're gonna head up now too as well. But that's it for another video, guys. But before we go, just gonna do a quick few shout outs for some of you free gang who have requested them. And today's shout out, the first one is to Molly Dolly 7811 And they say, my name is Molly and I live in the UK and I would love a shout out. Well, there you go, Molly Dolly. And the second one is from Zoe, says, oh my gosh, still gutted you came to Norfolk and didn't get to meet you. And Aww. you've kind of got a broken heart emoji there. 
Hope you can come here again soon. We might do. Can me and my GF get a shout out? We have been together four years in March. Nice. Thank you from Zoe and Holly. Oh, congratulations. Mm. And if any of you guys ever want a shout out, leave it in the comments below. We do one every video, maybe two, maybe three. It could be you. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing how we take animal objects and try and hide them in people's houses in plain sight, then you better subscribe to this channel because that's what happens here apparently. But if you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace out.